Here we are now at Computex 2019 at Deep Cool's booth. Now, previously in 2018 and 2017, we've seen a lot of new cases coming out, but this time around is a little bit different. They're overhauling essentially their whole lineup of water coolers and going hard. But how hard are they going? Well, they've got the new anti-leak technology. And to easily describe it for you guys, it's essentially a valve on the outlet that simply contracts as the water gets hotter. So basically, when the computer's off, the water's cold, that valve will then expand and essentially, living up to the name, make it anti-leak technology. But what else have they got besides that in terms of their cooler models, prices and release dates? Let's go through all that for you guys and then give you the verdict. So starting off with the lowest price point entry level water coolers here, we've got the Gamax L. 120 and 240. They've got the V2s, but they've also got the V3s being released. Now the V2s currently can't be sold in America, so I'm told, but the V3s will alleviate that problem. Now in terms of compatibility and support, we're all the way up to AM4. These will support the new X570 motherboards. They also support the Intel line of things. However, if you want to get TR4, then you will have to step it up a notch to the other coolers, both the Castle and the Captain. In terms of the coolers here, they all feature RGB. This one features it on the block and also a fan included. You get two fans included on the 240 obviously and it does come with a 12 volt controller which you can then control that RGB so it isn't 5 volt addressable RGB but that's not to worry since the price it is coming in from $70 and I'll put the pricing of the four SKUs up here for you guys so you can check it out if you're interested that cooler may tickle your fancy now behind me is the Captain series. This has been one of their longest running all-in-one liquid series. This time they're spicing it up. They are putting a metal pipe going to the block from the external block itself. Now, we've got the anti-leak technologies we said before. We've also got a dual chamber cooling system inside, as well as getting the performance fans on these models of radiators. You've got starting from 240 millimeter, going up to 360 millimeter. In terms of pricing, you can expect this to come in from $105, and there is a $5 premium if you want to get the wide aesthetic, since they do have to add that Duco onto the actual radiator and block itself. And then it goes up to 135 and $140 respectively. In terms of RGB, it is 12 volt and you do get the controller included. So you can change the fancy colors and patterns on the block itself. In terms of the actual TDP watt rating this thing can handle, it's up to 280 watts and they also add support for TR4. So if you want to mount it to an X399 motherboard, you can do just that. Or if you want to go with a new X570 and get some bling, then this thing will definitely provide. And then last up in the lineup, we have the model with the most customization in terms of not just the RGB LEDs, which is 5 volt addressable, but you also get the controller included if you wish to do it that way. But you can also take the cap off and add your own little icon in if you wish to do that. Or if you just wish to leave it out, you can even do that. Now there's two models here. There's one that's geared up towards performance. This is the Castle 360EX and also the 240EX, starting from 120 bucks to $160. Then besides that, they've got the V2, which unfortunately isn't available in America. And that is coming in with a 240 and a 360 RGB version. And you do get two RGB fans in the case of the 240 or three RGB fans, uh, 120 mils in the case of the 360. In terms of availability, the castle here on display is currently available and for sale. However, the other five models that we talked about will be available throughout June. So they're releasing very soon. They're serious about this anti-leak technology, but the coolers I've seen so far, they do look like they're quiet and I will be putting them through the test bench here at Tech Yes City. And with that aside, I hope you enjoyed our booth coverage at Deep Cool for 2019's Computex. If you did, then be sure to hit that like button. Also, let us know in the comment section below, what do you think? think about these new coolers on display here are you digging the new look on the blocks or aren't you digging that look love reading your thoughts and opinions as always and i'll catch you guys with this beautiful gold mic in the next tech video very soon peace out for now but also on your way out maybe to subscribe hit that bell notification uh, bye <laughs>